people. And a question that I get a ton uh, is what can people look for when they're learning how to communicate with their horse? Like for people who have been in it our whole lives, we automatically can look at a horse and see whether he's in good shape, whether he's PO'd, what the deal is. But what, what would be some advice mm-hmm. that you would give a beginner who's looking to learn how to communicate well with their horse and actually be able to read the language of the horse? Um, well, it's funny because I grew up, I had the great fortune of growing up with horses. And um, when I was, you know, 18 or 20, I had a lot of knowledge I couldn't account for having studied and read. Um, but I knew it to be right, and, and when I did study or read, I'd find out, sure enough, it was right. And it wasn't until my son was born, and I was full-time trainer um, at that time, and so uh, he went to work with me every day, two weeks after he was born. <laughs> and um, by the time he was three, he could look at any horse on the place and tell you if it was mad or scared or or uh, happy or exuberant or whatever. Um, and I realized that having grown up around it, you just kind of learn it. So I'm not sure you really have to, um, you know, it's hard for me because I've grown up with it. When I look at horses, it seems it seems really obvious what they're thinking and doing. But what I enjoy doing the most is demonstrations for people where, and it could be a crowd with anyone, horse people or not, and if you just point out a few things, and, and then they can see it real clearly, like night and day. But horses communicate primarily with postures and gestures. And so the postures are real clear and real black and white. Um, both the head and the tail are like a needle on the gauge. And when the head is all the way up and the tail is all the way up, the horse is at its most alert and alarmed and prepared for flight. And when the head and the tail are all the way down to the ground, he's at his most relaxed and submissive state. And any change in elevation of the head indicates whether he's tensing or relaxing. So, the, and then, uh, so that kind of is an overview of postures in the horse. And um, then the more you're around them, you see these postures um, of the real submissive horse or or the aggressive horse or whatever. 